these are the best players to have for fantasy football playoffs this year. First off is Amari Cooper. Now, we've already seen what Amari can do without Deshaun Watson, and during fantasy playoffs, he's going to have Deshaun back. Now, during that time, the Browns' offense should be very good. And we've already seen Amari's ceiling with Brissett under center, and it's pretty dang high. And having Watson back should only raise his floor and make that ceiling more accomplishable week to week. On top of that, he's the third best wide receiver playoff schedule, playing Baltimore, New Orleans, and Washington. Go get Amari if you don't already have him. Second player is going to be Jonathan Taylor. Now, JT has the number one playoff schedule for running backs, playing Minnesota, the Chargers, and the Giants. This is also kind of a buy low time for JT. And while I don't think this offense will get more efficient, JT is always going to have that volume. And volume is king at the running back position. And playing the Giants during the Fantasy Football Championship just sounds like a dream. The third player is Derrick Henry. Now, Henry won't be cheap after these past two weeks because of the positive pass involvement that he's had in this offense, which is very uncharacteristic for Henry over these past couple of years. Despite that, though, I think he's a good target, considering he has the fourth best playoff schedule for running backs, playing the Chargers, Houston, and Dallas. Now, despite this ranking, I don't really know whether these games are going to be positive scripts. You know, the Chargers have had some rough going early on in the season, but come the end of the season, Herbert will be healthy, they'll have Keenan back, they'll have Bosa back, so that one's kind of up in the air. Houston is obviously good, but the Dallas Cowboys with Dak back are going to be a very high-powered offense. Now, despite all that, the Titans are a very run-heavy team. So we know that they're going to lean on the run, even in some slightly negative scripts. And if it gets very negative where they have to pass the ball almost every play, Henry's passing involvement over these past two weeks is a positive note, which could make you lean towards the fact that even in a negative script game, Henry can still generate some value. Next, we have Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson, who have the number one schedule for all wide receivers in the playoffs playing the Rams, Dolphins, and Vikings. Now, these are both rookies who should only get more accustomed to the playbook and more comfortable with Rodgers as the season progresses. On top of that, they're currently the best playmakers that the Packers have at wide receiver. And that isn't going to change, but the consistency of their target shares and Rodgers' confidence in them will, meaning they have huge end-of-the-season ceilings. Last but not least, we have Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton who have the second best schedule for receivers in the fantasy football playoffs, playing the Cardinals, Rams, and Chiefs. Now, after that horrible Thursday night football game we just had to watch, this is a buy-low opportunity for Judy and Sutton. Now, you kind of have to pray that this offense improves, especially after losing Javante and Garrett Bowles, but considering these three games, the Cardinals, the Rams, and the Chiefs, the Broncos are going to have to throw the ball in these games. Like, they're going to be forced to. And Judy and Sutton are talented enough to overcome just the horrible play in this offense right now. So buy them low, and if you make the playoffs, they might help you out a lot. Thank you for watching. Go get these players.